Good morning, YouTube. Happy June 7th, and most of all, happy summer. School's out. Yes, and what a better way to celebrate the end of the school year with a readathon. So this readathon is called the Wicked Wildfire Readathon, and I will link it right here if you guys want to check it out. It goes till June 14th, and you guys can join whenever. I mean, real life obviously comes in, and we have other things we have to do. But if you can just join in for like one day, two days, anything, that would be awesome. So it's hosted by the blog My Shelf Confessions. We talk on Twitter at hashtag wwreadathon and there's also a twitter party tomorrow at um six i believe so check that out so this readathon started at 12 a.m this morning <laughs> but i definitely fell asleep so yeah that happened but i'm here now and i'm going to since it's like nine in the morning, I'm going to give my goals for this readathon, and then I will leave, come back at the end of the day, and give my page count and all that other lovely stuff. So my first goal for this readathon is to finish The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I only have, I don't have that much left really, I have about like a hundred pages left. That won't be too hard to finish because I just love it to death. So number two is I want to read The Selection by Kira Cass. And next is The Wonder Show by Hannah Barnaby. Next is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. So it's, you know, not the biggest list of goals in the world, but it is summer and I do have some other conflicting plans uh, throughout the week that the readathon's going on. So I won't be able to read 24-7, but I will be able to read a lot, and if I do happen to finish that list, I will add in some other books that are waiting around in this general area where all these books are. So, Alright, I'll be back at the end of the day with my progress update. Uh, see you for now. Hello again. It's now the end of the day. It's, I believe, let me check that for you. It's 11.07 p.m. and I'm here with my day one Wicked Wildfire Readathon update. So, as I listed in my goals earlier in the video, aka this morning, I wanted to finish The Fifth Way by Rick Yancey and one of my book goals was to read the selection. So I did both of those today. I finished The Fifth Wave and I loved it so much. I can't even explain how much. It was the most one of the most unique books I've ever read. I adored it. I gave it five out of five stars on Goodreads and posted a full written review on Goodreads and I'm hoping to do my video review soon. I highly, highly recommend it. And next I read The Selection by Kira Cass, which was a strong contrast from The Fifth Wave, whereas The Fifth Wave was full of intensity and like mind-blowingness. The Selection was a dystopian, but it was a very light dystopian, somewhat of a summary read, which fit the mood, full of tons of swooning and run. I'm giving it three stars. I haven't posted a review on Goodreads or done a video obviously, but I do hope to do that in the future and I will let you know when that's occurring. So, total page count, drum roll please. All right, we have 107 pages that I read in, when, in completing the fifth wave, so 107 plus, and then we have 327 pages in the selection, so a grand total of 434 pages today, yeah, woo, it's looking good thus far, unfortunately, well, fortunately and unfortunately, <laughs> Um, I found out that I'm going to be gone all day tomorrow. I'm doing the Color Me Rad run. 
So I'm really excited about that. I'm doing that tomorrow morning. And then I found out that my friends want to go to the Del Mar Fair, so I'm doing that. So I probably won't have any time to read. <laughs> Which sucks. <laughs> but hey, you know, I'll try and read in the car. So I will be gone all day, so I won't be able to do an update video. So when I do my day three update on uh, Sunday, I will include the updates for any pages that I may happen to read tomorrow. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys on Sunday with a new update video. Keep on reading. Bye.